Okay, the installation script for the Endian firewall has already begun, so let's walk through the installation of the Endian firewall into a VMware virtual machine. So you can see right here it says select the language you wish to use for EFW Endian firewall. I'm going to capture my mouse into the VM, click inside, and you can see that the pointer, the cursor, the hand has disappeared, and now I'm inside, my cursor is trapped inside this Endian firewall virtual machine. Now if I want to release my cursor, I just hold down Control alt on the keyboard and it re releases the cursor and lets me once again get control of my pointer. But basically I want the pointer captured by the VM because I want to walk through this installation script. So we need to select our language, either uh, German, English, or Italian. So I'll highlight English and hit Tab and then I will hit the space bar to accept. And then it says welcome to the EFW. I'll hit the space bar again to accept and it says are you ready to do this? Are you sure you want to install? And so I will arrow down to yes and then tab key and then space bar to accept. Do you want to enable console over serial port? If you had a console um, cable and you had a serial port or a COM port on your virtual machine, which you could have added, we could have added a, um, a COM port to our VM, our virtual machine, then we could hit yes but I forgot to do that, so I'm just going to leave it at no, and I'll hit tab, and then hit my space bar for OK. And it's going to partition the hard drive, the virtual hard drive that is, and it's going to install the EFW onto this virtual machine. OK, it looks like it worked. We've got some feedback from the installation, but it looks like everything worked fine. So. As you can see, it gives me another screen that I need to use to configure. The default IP address on the inside, on the green interface, which is the LAN side, the local area network side of our Indian firewall, is by default 192.168.0.15. So this is fine. I'm going to accept the default, and I'll tab on the keyboard over to OK, and then press the space bar. All right, so now it is running post installation procedures and we'll let it do its thing and I'll pause the recording. Okay, it is we get an error message that unable to eject the CD-ROM. Well, that's because we used the ISO file on the desktop here as the basically to automatically boot to through the CD-ROM. So that's okay. So we'll just hit the tab bar here. First I have to capture the mouse once again. Once again, I had hit Control alt to release my cursor, my pointer, so then I click back in the window, capture the pointer, and now I can hit the space bar. Okay, it looks like it was successfully installed, and so I'm going to tab for OK, and it's probably going to go through a restart process. All right, and there's the restart. Okay, great. Let's see what happens here by default. Looks like it's starting up, no problem. Okay, and at the end, once your Indian firewall has successfully been installed, you should see a start screen that looks just like this. You can see right off the bat that it's going through um, uh, startup processes or startup jobs that are running. I'm going to release the cursor so I can show you this. You can see here 6% finished. These are all the different um, processes that are starting up, right? It shows you the percentage complete. And we've got a red one here because networking has probably not completely been set up because it's the first run of the Endian firewall. So let's take a look at this interface. It tells us the release, Indian Firewall Community Release 2.5.1. tells us its community version. It shows us what the management URL is, HTTPS 192.168.0.15 on port 10443, right? And so this is the IP address that we're going to use to manage the device. It gives us some choices here to go into a shell. We can reboot the system or we can change the root password or admin password. 
the Endian firewall by default does not have a graphical user interface. To manage the Endian firewall device, you do it through a web interface from another computer on the network. So to manage this device, what we need to do is, is we need to get a second virtual machine on the network, give it a 192.168.0 address, basically like 192.168.0.100, and then we can connect to the Endian firewall and finish the first run configurations of our firewall router. But the installation was successful, and at the end it should look just like this. So this is perfect. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to go into this machine, let's go to player, removable devices, CD, DVD, and let's go to the settings for it. And we're no longer going to need to boot to this use ISO image file. So what we'll do is we'll say use physical device and then we'll click OK. So no longer will we boot to this ISO file. So there's our virtual machine, our Indian firewall. And now what we need to do is install a second virtual machine.